This is why the Arduino Nano is great. It packs the same punch as a much larger development board, but it can fit in really tiny places. This is like a banana, but that's really not the full story. I mean, what is an Arduino Nano anyway? If you go to the Arduino website, there are seven different types of Nanos listed, all with different names, but each name includes the word Nano. What gives? There's the Arduino Nano, or the classic Nano, the Arduino Nano Every, the Arduino Nano 33 IoT, the Arduino Nano 33 BLE, the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect, the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense, and the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2. So what gives? Is there anything the same between all these boards other than the word Nano? Well, as you may have guessed, what remains the same across all these boards is the physical footprint. That is how the pins are physically laid out on the board. And that pin spacing is a huge convenience factor because what you can do is plug them right into a breadboard for solderless prototyping, which make these great for all types of projects. What is also identical is what's called the pin out. That is not only how the pins are physically spaced on the board, but those pin number references and functions are the same. They are pin equivalent. So whether you have the Arduino Nano Every or the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect or an Arduino Nano BLE, you can count on having 14 digital pins and eight analog pins. And they're gonna be the same pin numbers. What is not the same though is the operating voltages of these boards. The Arduino Nano and the Arduino Nano Every operate at five volts similar to an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Mega, while all the other nano boards run at 3.3 volts. Note the 3.3 in the name, that's gonna stand for 3.3 volts. Another thing that's not the same is the number of PWM enabled pins from one nano to the next. So if your project requires a minimum number of PWM pins, that's definitely something you're gonna to wanna to look into for the specific nano board you're looking at. So let's go back to what is similar across all these Arduino nano boards. Well, one thing is they can all be programmed right inside the Arduino IDE using Arduino code that's gonna run on any kind of Arduino board. Another similar thing is that you can buy each of these nano boards with the headers soldered on or with the headers not soldered on and just in the box. So the headers are what extend the little pins down. So if you don't wanna do any soldering, make sure to buy the ones with headers. Otherwise, you're just gonna get the headers in the box and you're gonna to have to solder them on yourself. But the real question we've got here is which one is right for your project? Well, it depends. If you are simply looking for a smaller Arduino, like maybe you've got something running on an Arduino Uno and a Mega and you wanna shrink down the size, then you're gonna to wanna to go with an Arduino Nano, the classic one, or an Arduino Nano Every. And of those two options, I would go with the Arduino Nano Every. According to the Arduino website, the Arduino Nano Every is an upgraded version of the classic Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano Every not only costs less, but it also uses the much more common micro USB connector as opposed to the mini USB connector used by the classic Arduino Nano. You can also buy the Arduino Nano every in packs of three or six, which is pretty handy if you're gonna be building a bunch of stuff. One additional bonus to using either the classic Arduino Nano or the Arduino Nano every is they both have EEPROM for saving values after your board has been powered off something that none of the other nano boards have. But let's say you're looking for an Arduino board that has some type of built-in wireless connectivity, like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. This rules out the classic Arduino Nano and the Arduino Nano Every, but it leaves you with five other options. Let's start with Bluetooth. If you need an Arduino board with Bluetooth built-in, you have three options. The Arduino Nano 33 BLE, the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense, and the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2. All of these boards can connect to Bluetooth right out of the box. So if you wanna build some project that sends data to your phone, these would be the right fit. And honestly, I think it's fair to rule out the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense as it has a new Rev 2 version available that replaces it. So what's the difference between the Arduino Nano 33 BLE 
and the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2? Well, it comes down to sensors. The Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2 has a ton of embedded sensors on it. It's got a nine axis inertial measurement unit. This gives you an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer. And a magnometer. <laughs> Magnetometer? Magnetometer? Magnetometer. Mag Magnetometer. Humidity and temperature sensor, barometric sensor, a microphone, and a gesture, proximity, light color, and light intensity sensor. The Arduino Nano 33 BLE only has an inertial measurement unit. Another interesting feature about the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2 is that you can run small machine learning applications on it. In fact, the Arduino website points to a couple examples where you can run TensorFlow Lite and tiny ML code on it. I've played around with this a little bit and it's pretty fun. So which one should you choose? The BLE or the BLE Sense Rev 2? Well, if you plan on bringing your own sensors, then the BLE is probably just gonna be enough for you. But if you think you have a project that could benefit from having all those sensors right on the board, then going with the BLE Sense Rev 2 is probably the way to go. It's also worth noting here that all of the Arduino BLE boards use something called Embed OS. And if you plan on using them, you'll have to take the really easy step of installing the Embed OS core on the Arduino IDE. But what if you want an Arduino Nano board that connects to Wi-Fi? Well, you're in luck because the Arduino Nano 33 IoT and the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect both connect to Wi-Fi and to Bluetooth and Bluetooth Low Energy using the U-Blocks Nina Whiskey 102. Both of these boards can not only connect to Wi-Fi, but also to Bluetooth and Bluetooth Low Energy. Plus, they both have six-axis inertial measurement units built right in. So what's the main difference between these boards? Well, the biggest difference is the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect uses the powerful Raspberry Pi RP2040 silicon. Additionally, the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect has an onboard microphone and it can be programmed with MicroPython. The next video you're gonna wanna watch is this one right here. It is gonna walk you through everything you need to know about using Arduino if you're just getting started. One thing we talk about in this video is which Arduino board you should buy if you're just getting started. And that could be really useful before you buy any Arduino boards. It's this video right here. I'm really hungry.